Hello and welcome to Love Talk. Today we're going to be doing something special. We're going to look at things that men do that annoy women. What do we do that annoy women? Many things, in fact. But if you are single and you say, well, I'm not in a relationship, you might just stick around and find out so that I'm sure, well, I'm sure it's going to help you a lot once you get into a relationship. That's right. And although, you know, little things that annoy your other half may not necessarily destroy the relationship, but certainly do get the other person on a bad mood and it can spoil your day, perhaps mm. sometimes even, even day. So we hope that today is going to help you to, to fix these little things that are common to relationships. Let's see what the people in the streets of London have to say about this. So what do you think um, men do that annoys women in a relationship? Uh, they are constantly nagging us all the time to prove their point. It's like a dog chewing a rag and won't let go of it. They just don't stop nagging us. You did this wrong, you did that wrong, or whatever. <laughs> they won't leave it alone. And they want you to fight back with them verbally. And, and, and I can't take it anymore. So I sit down and read. When they, like when they lie, but like they think that you don't, they think that you don't know that they're lying, but like you know that you know that they're lying. And uh, it's, oh my God, it's just the most annoying thing ever. Uh, is he capable of using a bread tie? So the bread just goes stale? Just not hard. <laughs> I think they're quite lazy sometimes, like they never make the bed, like if, if, they, if you leave first to work you'll come back and the pillows won't be in the right place, <laughs> that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, yeah, just general kind of can be a bit lazy. Well, today we're going to be talking about something that women will be very happy about. There's a long list of things that men do that annoy them. Yes, there is indeed, but we only have a few, a few points today. <laughs> That's right, and, and although these things are not you know, deal breakers or very important things, but sometimes fixing them, tuning them down could just make your days and your relationship a lot more enjoyable. Mm -hmm. So the first one that men do that tend to annoy women is the man who doesn't look after himself. Because in the beginning of the relationship, the guy really makes an effort. He wants the girl to notice him. And after they get married or they start living together, you know, he tends to, to go on a slippery slope down uh -huh. where he doesn't look after himself anymore. Yes, that's when you have to remind him to clip his nails, mm -hmm. to go to the barbers, mm -hmm. you know, have, your, have his a haircut, mm -hmm. or perhaps, um, you know, your, your, your belly is growing, a, is growing a very fast, so, mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> take it easy on the junk food, although I'm not that slim myself, but, you mm -hmm. know, you know, always eating junk food, yeah. not caring for and of, what and of, you eat. Of course, Elena. <laughs> I think <laughs> women don't want the man to be over the top, to be more looking after his appearance than, no. than, 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 than women, right? They don't want the man to be more into yeah. their appearance than the woman. That, that's never a good thing. No. But it's important for women that men look after themselves, right? Absolutely. You need to, and that shows that you love yourself mm -hmm. and you, you're making an effort for your partner, for your girlfriend, boyfriend, mm -hmm. uh, girlfriend. So it, it shows that you make an effort, that you like yourself, that you, mm -hmm. you know, you are well within yourself. Mm -hmm. This is very okay. important. The next thing is when the guy <laughs> is too childish, when he's always on, on the, the video games and, you know, he behaves like a child. I, that, that's a complaint we have a lot when we speak to couples. A lot. And, you know, it's very difficult for a woman to look at someone like this, childish, mm -hmm. a man child, that is child, childish, and not treat him as a child, like, a, you know, mm -hmm. like a son. And then she, beca she, she becomes a mother, right? Yeah, and we and don't says, want to do Why that. Why don't you do this? Why don't you do that? And, and it really spoils things. And sometimes you don't even speak with that authority. Why don't you do this? No, sometimes you even measure your words, but it, it's sad for mm -hmm. you, for us women, to look at our men and, and, and see that he's just a child. Mm -hmm. He, you know, he stuck to his ways, you know, from when he was uh, a teenager mm -hmm. or from when he was living with his parents, playing video game until late, um, not, not having a sense of responsibility. Mm -hmm. You know, and tomorrow, 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 not, and, and nothing actually, gets done. Actually, we, we have spoken to many couples that this became a serious problem. 
mm. I remember a, a recent story of uh, a couple who they were on the verge of divorce because the, the video game had taken the place of the wife because mm. the guy would come home, would have dinner, would go straight to the video game and mm. be there until you know, late hours of the night. She would go to bed on her own. It's like she, it's like mm. she was single or she had a lodger. In and the and house. tell me something, where is the romance? Mm -hmm. Because, for example, let me re rephrase what I wanted to say. You have someone by your side who behaves like a child. Mm -hmm. You know, so, you know, when it's, you know, when you, first of all, he's not your brother or your, your, your son. So there is something else there. There is this love thing between mm. you, right? This attraction, the attraction mm. and everything. Now, if, for example, if you married, it's not, you want to, you know, even, it, it even affects your intimacy with your husband mm -hmm. because Absolutely. he's a child. I mean, you, you, your eyes towards him change and it's difficult not to change mm -hmm. unless you actually sit down and talk about yeah. that. Although we know, and, and by the way, listen, we can't be um, too strict because we know guys, they, they like to, to have times of enjoying themselves and so on. And like so, us. Yeah, and, and of course, sometimes the guy likes to play a video game and it's up to you whether you like or not. Everything has its place in life. It's mm. just that sometimes it takes over the relationship and yeah, that shouldn't yeah, happen, yeah. right? Next one. This is a big one. What, for Women, you or for us? It's a big one. It's a big <laughs> one. Women get annoyed when the man doesn't listen to her. Why? Because women, they want to be heard. For example, whereas we men... Sometimes we don't want to say anything. The woman always feels the need to explain what she's going through, to talk about problems she's going through, and she wants to be heard. That's how she was made. That's, that's how women are. And if a man doesn't listen to her, it becomes a problem. Yes. And when we say when men don't listen to her, that annoys them, we also mean, okay, let me translate, mm -hmm because we need a translator, mm -hmm. <laughs> is that you, you have to be sensitive to, in a way, to understand that she needs, maybe she needs to talk, maybe she's not even telling you, listen, let's mm -hmm. talk, listen to me. Mm -hmm. But sometimes she's, she's going through something and you notice that she's changed a bit, you know, yesterday and today mm -hmm. she's a bit more quiet. Find out, you know, be interested find out if she's okay, is, is everything okay? Mm -hmm. Not like, oh, what's up with you? What's wrong with you? And then that's it. You know, be and, and by interested. The way, and by the way, when you ask her, is everything okay? Be ready. <laughs> <laughs> because she's going to talk a lot. Or and she's going to say everything is okay, yeah, but, but she expects you to be a bit more... But the thing is, when you ask a man, is everything okay? He'll say everything's okay. And if it's not okay, probably he won't say anything. And if he does say something, it's going to be very short. I'm upset because of something that happened at work. And that's it. He doesn't want to say anything else. When it's the woman, she wants to talk. And it's important that you put the video game down. It's important you switch off the TV. You put your laptop to one side mm -hmm. and you listen to what she has to say. So women get very annoyed when the man mm -hmm. doesn't listen to her. Because when, when you don't listen to her, especially if you are married, problems happen as a result. Mm -hmm. Problems like what? She will go and talk to someone else. Mm -hmm to her friend at work that maybe isn't the right person to talk to. Maybe every, everyone else will know about what's happening in your relationship. Or she will confide in another man, mm -hmm. which is not advisable at all. Uh, then the person may take advantage of her. And many problems, these are petty things, like mm -hmm. small things. But if you do, you're not careful, it can become a big yeah. thing. Now, you men that are watching this program, if you're, if you're wise, if you're smart, you take these things and you, you're taking note and you see, wow, I think that's one of the things I do. And you'll try to fix that, right? Because I'm, I'm, I'm sure you're gonna be scoring a lot of good points in your relationship. Let's do one more before we go to the break. Uh, when he talks about his mom all the time, that's, that's very off-putting for a woman because you're comparing her to your mom, right? And she doesn't wanna be compared to your mom. If you say, oh, but my mom made this dish a lot better, or my mom used to look after my clothes like this, and you know, she used to use starch on the clothes <laughs> when she ironed the clothes, why don't you use starch? You know, that's, that's, that's annoying, right, Lynn? That that's, very, breaks things down a lot. Very annoying. 
And imagine if she lives with you. Mm -hmm. If let's say you're married, <laughs> then that's it. Then mm -hmm. it's it's marriage threatening. Mm -hmm. If the person, <laughs> you not only mm -hmm. he not only talks about his mom all the time. Oh my, uh, you know my mom does this this recipe. You know this way that way. Well, it's really so much better. Mm -hmm. Or my mom used to you know do this and that in the house or, or decorate this way. Mm -hmm. Imagine if the mom lives in the house then. And. And remember, <laughs> remember, you didn't marry your mom, right? You didn't marry her. And actually, embrace the, the way that your partner does things, your wife does things. Embrace that. It's a, it's a new way. Mm -hmm. Actually, if, if she does things in a way that is, you would prefer it in, in a different way, then you can tell her that. Just don't say that your mom did it. Just say, look, I prefer right. it that way. Because if you say, my mom used to fix the living room like this, the bedroom like that, then she will not want to do it. But if you just say, look, could you do it like this? I would prefer it like this. I'm sure she will listen to you because if, if she loves you, you love each other, that she, you, she will want to, to please you and vice versa. Yeah, just remember the, the, the word mother is not allowed. <laughs> well, at least not in comparative sentences. Exactly, right? I'm sure they understand yes. that. Yes, <laughs> the word mother is allowed, but, but not, not, in in that not in comparative sentences. Now. What we're going to do is this, we're going to go into a break in a few moments and we're going to see what's happening in the world of celebrities. But when we come back in the second half, we're going to talk about one thing that is very annoying to me and is very annoying to her. That one thing annoys us both a lot, probably more me than her, but it's very annoying. If what you, wanna, you mean? If you want to <laughs> know what it is, stay where you are, we'll be right back. Edward Norton and Shauna Robertson are not only proud parents of a new baby boy, but the low-key and very private twosome are also happily married. Norton and Robertson quietly got engaged back in 2011, following a six-year courtship and the pair also secretly tied the knot back in 2012. She gave birth to the couple's first child together back in March, and the two are thrilled and excited for parenthood. Congratulations to the both of them. Gretchen Rossi and Slade Smiley have a reason to celebrate. In Touch Weekly reports, the couple are engaged. Going against tradition, the Real Housewives of Orange County star decided to propose to him on top of the AT&T building in LA and inside the Tales of Tabloid, adding that it was a surprise and of course the proposal will be televised. She had him flown up there via helicopter for the dramatic proposal. The wonderful lives of these celebrities keep us on the edge of our seats. Engagements, pregnancies, what else do they have in store? Till next time, stay fabulous. Right, I'm sure you're very anxious and curious to know what is it that annoys me a lot, big time. But it's not about men, it's about women. What annoys, what men do that annoy women today, right? So, but what really annoys me and then annoys her is when I call her and I can't get her on the phone and this happens a lot. <laughs> Not this true. This happens nine out of ten times. Um, but then she gets annoyed because I get really upset with her, right? Actually, what gets me annoyed is that I always answer the phone it's just one, you know, that one time <laughs> that you went to the bathroom or that you were carrying lots of, uh, you know, bags, you went to the supermarket and then that's it, he calls you. And then you were like, oh my God, if I don't pick up, he's going to say again that I didn't pick up, but, that I never pick up. But you so know. basically, <laughs> can you feel me getting annoyed now? Yeah. Basically, what annoys women, I believe, I speak for myself, is... When you guys say you never, you know the word never, it's mm. very unfair. Okay, although you this, never seems, pick up the phone. this seems to be a common trait <laughs> with, with women. Most men complain that their wives, their girlfriends never answer the phone. And it's not never, but it's nine out of ten times usually, right? <laughs> no, I think it's because you guys are a bit of a drama, drama kings. Although, although let's, <laughs> let's do this. Next week, we'll be talking about things that women do that annoy men. And we're going to have this one in the list again, just for good measure, to look at the perspective from the men's side. Let's look at the next <laughs> one. Uh, the next one is a big thing with women as well, is when men have disgusting habits, like uh, burping in public, or picking their nose, or scratching their bums. Can, or I, can I add one? Uh -huh. 
when you know when they they let one of the nails grow a uh -huh. lot. <laughs> <laughs> not, not that I do that, you right? know, when they, they allow one of the na their nails to grow and they go pick things with with the nail, uh -huh. please, that's a no no. Don't be offended if you do that. But it's, it's just you know funny and at the same time annoying. Yeah, for most. But women. also, we we have men who uh, pass wind in public, right? <laughs> that's that's not to use another word when they you know are constantly scratching their bum burping without you know at, in any place in any situation then laughing about it mm. that's i mean i'm a man but that's annoying i've seen on tv uh, shows on dating and, and mm -hmm. stuff like that and and the person is so it, again it links with what we said pr previously about the men being too ch being childish mm -hmm. one thing is you having sense of humor another thing is for you to be this person who you know, who cares? Just burp, fart. Mm -hmm. You know, it's your. F you want a date? You see, that's the word I didn't want to use, but you see, my <laughs> wife already used it. So come on, Tiago. We we uh, have to be open here. You know, mm -hmm. people have to be. Oh, okay. So this is what it is. That annoys women. Mm -hmm. They have to be yeah. uh, be clear on that. You know, and so, and the uh, thing is, Elena. Sometimes men say, but the thing is, now I already know her. I have this intimacy with her, and and it's okay. She doesn't mind. Okay, it's not even okay. even if she doesn't mind, I believe, Lena, that some women may not mind in in the privacy of their home, even though it's not something nice. But to do it in front of other people, I think that sometimes can be very off-putting, very annoying. And then or family the members. Yeah, and then the thing is, the woman says, I'm, "Don't do that," and the guy just laughs, and it's annoying that he doesn't take it seriously what she's saying to him. You see, I've trained him really well. <laughs> <laughs> moving, no. moving along. Tell. Me. Um, we're going to combine two here. We're going to do two together. You know, I should be the one holding the list, right? Yeah, but we, we, have, we can't give all the control to women, <laughs> right? So we're going to combine two here. Uh, one that has come up a lot is when men don't put the toilet seat down. And another one that has to do with that is when men go to the toilet and don't hit the target. Oh, my God. Right? This, how can you miss such a big target, right? So women complain yes. about that a lot. How can you miss? such a big target <laughs> it's funny and annoying at the same time uh -huh. so you know it's funny come on it's funny but annoyed depending on you know how you how i feel or mm -hmm. how the woman feels that day it's annoying <laughs> and, and leaving the lid up right every i think there's a thing about women um complaining about this why don't you put the toilet seat down and that's a big thing as well Right. Well, if you don't if, if if you don't miss the target, I'm already happy. Forget about the lead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Another thing that uh, men do that annoy women a lot, and I must say that I'm guilty of this sometimes as well, is to put empty containers back into the fridge. Probably not a hundred percent empty, but there's this much orange juice left in the bottle, and because of convenience, we just put it back. And it's basically usually just because of convenience, because we don't want to be bothered to put it in the bin. Mm. But how how well, annoying is that? It's very annoying because we, you know, you, you go back to the fridge mm -hmm. and we ask ourselves, why didn't he just put it in the bin mm -hmm. and put another one back, you know, in the fridge? Mm -hmm. So it, it is annoying. <laughs> it is. Right. We're going to go to the last one. And this is something that a lot of women, by reading comments we had uh, online, a lot of women complain about this. Is when the man decides to take control of the remote control of the TV and doesn't let even touch it. So he controls it and the woman just has to sit there and, and watch it and mm. watch whatever he's watching. Yeah, it's, it's annoying. Um, if, the, if the woman is a bit more mature and she's, she's been married for a while, she'll understand, you know, I don't mind watching whatever he's watching. You know, mm -hmm. he enjoys it, so he respects that. But for example, um, it, it can bring other problems, other more serious problems. Like for example, what, like we see a lot nowadays, one, they are both in the living room, uh, sitting together, supposedly having quality time together, but one is on one TV, the other one is on the iPad, watching something else. Mm -hmm. So, uh, not very nice, I would and say. Plus, it's a matter of, of courtesy, right? Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes you have two programs on that, you know, you love one, your partner loves the other one. Sometimes it's a matter of courtesy to, courtesy to say, you know what, it's okay, you can watch what you want and you... Don't do it resentfully. Don't hand the control over and then sulk for the rest of the evening. It's important that you, 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 you enjoy the fact that she's enjoying it. Mm -hmm. like, like you said, right, Elena? Yeah. You, 
you may not like that program, but because he's enjoying it, the woman, it's okay. I'm enjoying the fact that he's enjoying the program. Yeah, that's it. Um, well, it takes maturity for mm -hmm. you to think like that, and many mm -hmm. people don't. That's why we are, yeah. you know, talking about these little things that are annoying, but yeah. that can actually become serious things. Because, you know, a relationship is all about making the other person happy. If, if you are able to make the other person happy, then you'll be happy. She will mm -hmm. try to make you happy as well. So, okay, I don't really like to watch um, then, uh, you know, whatever program it is that is, is on at that moment. But if it makes her happy, then it's fine. You sit there and you, you watch that and you're happy for her, right? Actually, we went to a very interesting date mm -hmm. at Bakerboo to have some tea and, um, and cupcakes. And we'd like you to see how it went. Perhaps it's something that you would like to do with your partner mm -hmm. in a relaxing morning for breakfast or afternoon. Have a look how it went. So we're here at the Baker Boo. We're going to have a, an afternoon tea. And this is a great idea for you to bring your girlfriend, your wife, or if you're coming on a first date. Great place to come on a first date. So let's go and have some cake. And tea. <laughs> So we have some scones here with some cream, which I really like. I'm gonna have that. I don't know if there will be any left for you then. And, <laughs> and some cupcakes as well, some tea. So we're gonna really enjoy ourselves. And actually we were just saying that this is the perfect place for- For a first date. For a first date. If you wanna impress someone, right? Someone that you have had a look, on, <laughs> a, an eye on for a while, then this is the place to be. She's gonna right. love this place. Do you want some tea? Yes, please. The reason why this is such a good place for a first date is because it's a really different place with a vintage feel to it and very intimate and you, you can have a conversation without having to shout. So it's perfect place for you to get to know someone if you don't know the person really well. Or even if you do, I mean, you, you can... The environment is just wonderful. Exactly. Studio. <laughs> Welcome back. We we had a very nice time there mm -hmm. at Baker Boo. Uh, just an idea of some some a place where you can go. Another place where you can go. Every mm -hmm. week we try to give some suggestions. Do something different, isn't it? That's very important. But talking about today's topics, um, topic. We w there are many things that annoy us women, but. You know, uh, understand this is this is a message for women more mm -hmm. than for men that everyone makes mistakes, no one is perfect, mm -hmm. and you know, we can easily just you know um, get over these little things. These are not mm -hmm. you know uh, deal breakers like you usually mm -hmm. say. You know, we, you you can always. But if there is anything that is really uh, going beyond annoyance that mm. you, you really need then you really need to talk to the person to sit down and have a serious conversation mm -hmm. you know if things are going uh, are not going well for example one one thing is for you to be married one thing is for you to be dating 
different stages, then it, it depends. Some things, some un uh, habits will be annoying and funny if you are dating, but mm -hmm. if you're already married, it can become a serious thing. Mm -hmm. So we advise you to, to take it easy, to talk to the person, and mm -hmm. um, I'm sure that things will change. I mean, That's communication. Right. And for the men, here's the thing. You know, maybe the thing that is annoying for your partner isn't a big deal. It's not a big deal, right? I mean, how serious is it that you you put an empty bottle back into the fridge, right? How serious is that you, you didn't put the toilet seat down? How serious is it that you keep hold of the remote control just for yourself? Probably not, not that serious. But then again, if you want to make the other person happy, and that's what a relationship is about, making the other person happy, then perhaps it's worth the extra little sacrifice you're going to make not to annoy her that day. And sometimes the difference between spoiling a day for someone or making that day special is that difference of annoying her or not. Sometimes she already had a very bad day and that little thing you do that annoys her just tips her over the edge. Indeed, not that serious, but if you manage to fix these little things, I'm sure that your relationship will benefit from the improvements that you've made, okay? Next week will be the time of the things that women do that annoy men. I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> let's see, let's see what he has to say. <laughs> All right, until then, have a wonderful night.